This Women's Day, I would like to thank the men who work so hard, so consistently, so tirelessly to ensure that our country has amongst the highest global rates of gender-based violence. Having gone through it myself, at your hands, I wouldn't have known what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. Hey everyone, I'm Bali Dembe and this Women's Day, I really want to say thank you to all the misogynistic men out there who underestimated my abilities in the boardroom. Thank you to all my brave brothers in the entertainment industry who have sexualized my body and tried to get laid when I was honestly just trying to get a role and earn my pay. Thank you for showing me that in your eyes, my role as a woman is merely to pop my booty and make you some coffee. And how could I forget to give a shout out to all of those men who made me feel unsafe when I turned down your sexual advances. If I hadn't gone through all of that, I really wouldn't know what it's really like to be a woman in South Africa. I would like to show appreciation to the men in South Africa who have made this place an unsafe space for women and children. Every single day I live in fear, not only in my body, but in my environment. And if I had not gone through this experience every single day, I would not know what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. On this Women's Day, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the South African men, or should I rather say the gents, <laughs> you know? Every time the topic about gender-based violence comes up, South African men always say, we need to do better, gents. We need to do better. Well, congratulations. I think that you've finally outdone yourselves, gents, because in the last year alone, 52,000 sexual assault cases were reported in South Africa and a further 42,000 rapes were reported. Now do take into consideration the fact that in South Africa only one out of every nine rapes that takes place is reported. This means that in the last year alone at least 378,000 rapes took place in just one year. So congratulations gents. Well, I would also like to wish all of the strong South African women a happy Women's Day. And yes, I did particularly single out just the strong woman because in South Africa, you need to be really strong as a woman in order to survive because in South Africa, a woman is murdered every three hours. And also 40% of all South African women will get raped in their lifetime. So being a woman is definitely not for the weak hearted in South Africa. So happy Women's Day to all of the strong woman and I cannot thank corporate essay enough for ensuring that I'm never able to actually improve my quality of life and create the kind of wealth that will ensure my kids tertiary studies and entry into the workplace are sorted with ease because you stay underpaying me and ignoring my plight if it wasn't for this experience I really wouldn't know what it's like to be a woman in South Africa this Women's Day, I'd really like to say thank you to all the men who have called me outside my name, like bitch and slut, purely because I was so selfish and didn't want to give you my number. I was so wrong. And then I want to say toast and congratulations to Timothy and Matthew and Jakob and Andre for all the promotions that you've gotten, despite the fact that I did 80% of the work and actually trained you. You guys are far more deserving. And then to the homies. You guys are the MVPs. You guys are so loyal. I appreciate that. I appreciate when you sat back and watched me get emotionally and mentally and physically abused by your friend. Like that level of loyalty, unmatched. Because if I hadn't been through that, I really, really wouldn't know what it is to be a woman in South Africa. This Women's Day, I really want to say thank you to a former neighbor from years ago who actually made a comment about um, my posterior when I had returned from gym the one day. It really, really made me uncomfortable. But thank you so much for reminding me what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. Oh, oh, oh. but the real Big Bang thank you goes to our government. COVID-19 impacted everyone, not just women. So you acted pretty quickly. Gender-based violence, however, mostly a woman's issue. So we must still live through that crisis and endure legal threats and being jailed because of violent men who abuse their power when we finally find the courage to speak up and demand justice. 
If it wasn't for these experiences, I would have never known what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. I really want to thank the men that make it unbearable to be a woman in this country and their government that enables their behavior. It is exhausting to calculate every single day when it is safest to take a jog, when it is safest to go enjoy dinner with my girlfriends, safest clothes to wear when I'm out in public, safest response to an unwelcomed advance from a strange man. Heck, even wondering whether it is safe to bring a child into this world because by virtue of being born female and in South Africa, they would be an exception if they were never raped. If this was not my daily lived experience, I would never know what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. Happy Women's Month. But ladies, before we can even celebrate and experience the authenticity of what this month means to us, I have to send a few thank yous out to the men in Mzansi. Matong, Lona, you are the best. Thank you, thank you so much for making it feel safe for me to go running, to go shopping, to be in a lift or to go anywhere without worrying about my safety. Um, thank you so much for calling each other out when you abuse us in all different ways and forms and, you know, just calling out your mates, you know. Thank you so much for doing that and for keeping your, your friends in check. And thank you so much for being so vocal about racism and Black Lives Matter and then disappearing. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. And then disappearing when we talk about um, gender-based violence. And then last one before I go, kudos to you guys for being able to do absolutely anything and everything that you want to do without a care or thought in the world and without thinking about what it might do to the next person. It's very, very nice. It's amazing being a woman in South Africa. I just had to thank you guys for that um, privilege. Yeah, happy Women's Month. This Women's Day, I want to show deep appreciation and be so grateful for the patriarchal society that we live in in South Africa that expects me as a successful woman and as a successful leader to tap out of my career um, so that I can look after my family. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know what it's like to be a woman in South Africa. This Women's Day, I'd like to thank all the men in South Africa who think that sexual harassment is as important as breathing. I mean, they do both so naturally and effortlessly. This Women's Day, I would also like to thank Corporate South Africa for always making sure that black women are paid less than their white and male counterparts. Finally, this Women's Day, I'd really like to thank the government for issuing a helpline for gender-based violence victims. I mean, if I'm being beaten to a pulp, a helpline is exactly what I need. I mean, not shelter or real help or people convicting the people who have abused me, a helpline. So to the men, the homies, the guys, the butts, I'm a great man. The comrades, I'm a chief, the CEOs, nonke, siabok. Bitch, sfebe, ho, your shit. We've heard it all and so much more. Your commitment to making being a woman in South Africa so unbearable is truly the height of sincere, dedicated, unfaltering fuckery. So this Women's Day, we say cheers, assholes. <laughs>